Hello you guys and welcome back to P Racy channel. Pedro here. Today we're going to continue working on the SIDU engine. We're going to install the crankshaft, the pistons and connecting rods. So let's get to it. <laughs> In the previous video, we installed the pistons in the block. I'm gonna be explaining in detail uh, some stuff that you have to be aware when you are assembling this engine. Plus, we're gonna be uh, closing the bottom part of that engine. You have to make sure that the pistons are in the correct position. The small notch is going to the exhaust side and the bigger notch is going to the intake side. If you don't do that, the valves are going to collide with the piston when you start the engine. So make sure everything is in the correct way. Now I'm going to turn over the engine and you can see the three connecting rods. I'm going to be using the same bearings because these are quite new. Now I'm going to proceed to install the three oil showers that goes in the, in the bottom of the block. These are going to spray oil to the bottom of the pistons and the piston pins. This is a really important part of the engine because the oil uh, cool the engine and lubricate the engine also. And remember that you also have to apply Loctite to all the bolts when you are installing it. This is an angle finder. This is a tool that we're going to be using to give the proper torque specified by the manufacturer. Now we have to take the connecting rod caps so we can put the, the crankshaft. When we install the, the crankshaft, we have to install the caps in the same position that we took them out. This is the crankshaft. Everything has to be really clean, no debris, before you install this, you have to clean the best way possible. I put the chain, put this chain. Chain goes right here. Okay, this is the balance shaft. I'm gonna install the balance shaft. You have to be careful, be certain that everything is clean. Put a little bit of assembly loop. And remember, you have to put the ladder, the ladder bearings at these two. They have to be in that position. 
So, and this is the timing mark. This mark has to align with this one. So, a better position that you can align that here like that and roll it. Put it in position. So, when you turn, you're gonna see the two marks align perfectly. I'm putting a little bit of silicone here. This is the back seal for the crankshaft, just in case the O-ring doesn't seal. I'm putting only the half because the other half is gonna be when I do the, the, the cover. So this is gonna be here. Now I am cleaning the back cover so I can close the bottom half of the, of the engine. I'm cleaning everything up. I'm gonna use brake cleaner. These are the main bolt caps. We are going to apply a little bit of silicone on the O-ring, so we make sure it's gonna seal properly. Uh, install them and then uh, torque them to 18 foot-pounds. And just like that, we are done with the bottom part of the engine. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. So help us grow the channel and do more awesome content for you. So see you in the next video. Bye guys.